Hi, I'm at Fitzroy Reef at the moment, and I just thought I'd demonstrate how you make bread. So, basically you get a bread mix, any type. This one's a grain bread mix. And I'll just show you how you make it on a boat. First of all, you just get the packet. Got a pan, put it in a pan. Without getting it all over yourself. So there's it in your pan. You get your packet of yeast, you pour that in. Right, you get yourself a wooden spoon, thus, and you basically you just stir it round till you get the yeast mixed in with the flour. Then you get a, a cup full of water. It says on mine a cup, so in goes a cup of water. Now you just stir that in with a wooden spoon. Like this. Yeah, you do five minutes of vigorous, or three minutes of vigorous stirring. And you end up with basically that in the pan, all right? And then just make it into a ball. Any old hair will do. Just trying to scrape a bit off the sides. Don't want to get my hands dirty. Right, there you have, you got it in the pan like that. Now you just put the top on, which is, put a tea towel over the top of it, put it downstairs in the, uh, where it's nice and uh, in a warm spot, and uh, put it downstairs in a warm spot and leave it for about 45 minutes to rise. Yeah, while your, your bread's rising, you get a bit of tin foil, like so. You get your little uh, your uh, little breakfast bowls like that. You put the tin foil on the breakfast bowl. You put the next one on top, and you push, like so. And then you fold that round that breakfast bowl, thus. And you're trying to make yourself a little tin foil cone, little bowl, so to go in to make your bread in. When it's risen, then you make it again. You beat it down and make it again. So you just put that in there. So this is the way I found to do it on the boat. Because so you don't have everything. Bread things or anything. So you just put it in there, squeeze it down, and thus you've got a uh, little uh, tin foil bowl okay what you do now is you get a bit of olive oil just a smidging so it don't stick put a little bit of olive oil in there and just rub it round and uh, Basically what you do is you make two of these little bowls because you'll have to make two little bread loaves in because the, in, the pan won't be big enough to make one big red loaf.
It's midday and we're at Fitzroy Reef. As you can see, it's absolutely glassy at the moment. You can just see a few waves breaking out on the reef. All round, everywhere you look, just pan slowly round, all round, there's reef right round us. And we're basically in the middle of it at the moment. You can see behind there's different shades in the water there, coral bommies or a bit of coral on the bottom. We're in about uh, eight meters of water here. I'm waiting at the moment, I'm hung in here because they say that there's going to be a strong wind warning coming with a southeasterly change of 30 knots and then after that it's going to blow 20 knots after that and probably uh, I don't think by the time it's coming at the moment since it's midday I think we'll be setting off tomorrow. Yeah, while I have time I'll just show you around the boat. Just the main things are, as I just like to show you, is like the solar panel there. You see all these gadgets on bolt to hold your solar panel up. But uh, I've come up with a uh, idea, you just underneath there, I'll get it from a better angle. Yeah, there's a, uh, if you look there at the bottom of the so solar panel, I've put a couple of struts on, and on that is a skateboard deck cut down and screwed on to the uh, cord in on the struts. And that's all I use for a, uh, hold my solar panel up. And being a skateboard deck, you can tilt it. So you can tilt it to wherever you want in the sun and rotate it. At the moment, it's always tied off to there with a little ball and tied off to the push bit just there. And I can sail around whatever the weather, you know, it's come down in, you know, in 30 knots of wind and that's how it stays and charging all the time. Uh, if you look at the side of the boat, all around the boat there's netting. The reason is, is the netting makes the boat a lot bigger because uh, nothing can fall over the side if you've got the netting there and it means you can evacuate all the rubbish out the boat to the side of the boat and make the inside nice and clear. I'll just show you downstairs. Obviously I've got me yeah, under that's my solar uh, PV solar controller. Up the front there's a uh, uh, V berth up there is where I'm sleeping at the moment. find it very comfortable. Around here is my echo sounder and my little uh, electric box. Under there is my VHF radio. And just the shelf with all the rubbish on. In the middle of the uh, in the boat, uh, on the top of the centre board, dagger board there is the table. Underneath that I keep 30 litres of fuel. On uh, either side of the centre board case there, and a, a little five li uh, litre thing as well. The toilet is under the uh, underneath where I'm standing at the moment, which is just underneath the cockpit, which is slide out into the cabin. Here's my knife and fork drawer, which when uh, I want to make it into a uh, berth, that goes outside in the cockpit. Above that is where I keep all my uh, cups and mugs and everything in a little mug rack there. And just below the bag there is a, uh, just see that little blue thing there, it's a step charger. Which uh, when I plug it into the generator, it'll uh, charge the, uh, uh, it charges the batteries at 15 amps. Underneath the uh, step, as you come in the door there, there's a toilet this side, and on the other side I keep the uh, micropore generator. Yeah, it's half an hour since I filmed the, uh, the lagoon. The uh, southeaster is coming in at 30 knots, it's just started. It'll be in those clouds there. I'll film it again when we hit the, when we get a big blow through. But it's just building at the moment. 
I reckon within a half an hour we'll have 30 knots. I've ju just uh, deflated the rubber dinghy on the front. The rubber dinghy I've just deflated and it's down there on the front, just folded it up, got to put it in the bag and tidy up ready for the blow. stuff all over you. There's a lump. And you put it in your bowl like that, in your tin foil bowl. Or not to get it on your hands. So that looks like that. Do two of those. Clean. 